Hey guys, welcome to today's OMG Tuesday. We are playing with affordable makeup and I am taking you with me throughout the day to see how it wears. We're playing with a long wearing lipstick. And first off, I am so sorry if you hear like a buzz saw in the background right now. It has been going all morning. I try and wait it out and I'm like waiting for quiet, but it's not happening. And it's like 11 a.m. now, so we're just gonna get this going. We are playing with the only one lipstick that is like a bold name for a lip product it literally is like the only one that you will ever need the only one lipstick it is supposed to be a hybrid of moisture long wearability um, it's just going to cushion the lips but give you high pigmentation it's supposed to be absolutely out of this world 6.99 they have 12 different shades you can purchase this from ulta or your drugstores um, something that I did notice is the colors are all more on the bright side and intense side. So this is a very pigmented product. It's not really going to be the range you want to go to for your light pinky beige nudes, you know? So we're going with some really fun color. I almost never wear totally bold shades on my lips, but I thought, you know what, for this video, why not? We're going to play with number 800 under my spell. So this has a slant tip applicator. It is supposed to really hug the lip and apply smoothly and evenly and basically wear all day long. So my idea was I'm gonna apply this right now. Um, pray to God that it is a decent color because I have a lot of running around to do today. And then hour by hour, I will check in with you guys and see how the color is fading, if it's feathering, if I get a longer wear out of this than some of my other long wear lipsticks and that we would just see how it goes for a $6.99 item. You know, if it works out, wouldn't that be great? I am going in. You know what this looks like? A dupe for glam life. It's a lot more slippery than I thought it would be. For some reason, I thought it would be like very much matte. And I wish it was just a tiny bit more even. That's a really pretty color though, right? Oh my gosh, that saw is gonna drive me absolutely like up a wall. All right, the slant tip applicator does make it kind of easy to apply, easier than your traditional rounded bullet or triangular shaped bullet because you have those harsh edges. You can kind of really drag along the lip line, but I think with it being such a dark lip color, I probably would have a better, more precise time with an actual lip brush. So um, I'm not completely happy with the shape, like especially up here i could have done a better job but you know what this is a first impressions and we are just gonna wear this and see how it wears if it bleeds all of that good stuff and i will do my first check-in in about an hour i will see you then hey guys this is my first check-in it has been a little bit longer than an hour it's been like an hour and a half let's look um i kind of think it looks like crap just saying, I don't really know how I feel about this. I wish it was a little bit more matte. Um, the color's really pretty, but it's just, it's kind of, well, it didn't get on my teeth, which is nice, but like, do we see? It's kind of just not as even as I would want it to be. That's all. It's still on there. There's still a lot of pigment and color. Um, yeah. I will check in again in about another hour after I eat something and we will see what is left then. I'm not even sure what we all did before cell phones because I'm having a very strange day due to the fact that over the weekend I somehow managed to lose my cell phone which is the first time in my whole life that I have ever done that and I feel totally naked without it, I feel like so out of touch. And I am meeting James um, randomly. We were in the same spot of town and I'm in a CVS parking lot, just like waiting for him. And I just, I don't even know what to do because I, I don't have my phone. I can't call him and be like, where are you? Like, it's just the weirdest, weirdest thing. So random chatty little update, but it's been another hour. My face really needs to be blotted down. The color is still there, it's just really patchy, and to be honest, I'm not into it. I'm not liking it, so that's that. 
I'm sure if I retouched it up, it would look pretty and brand new again, which I might do later on today. Um, so we're at about three-ish hours of wear, and this is what's going on. It's really not that good, huh? Mm -hmm. I am so excited because I have a phone again. Um, I literally, I, I was going bananas without this. I mean, no Snapchat, Instagram, nothing. I am back, it's official. This is why I don't wear dark lipstick very often because I like to eat food like this and it is just a little bit too high maintenance for me. That is kind of gross, I'm eating my lipstick. Mm. Right, can you imagine if I was on a date and this was the aftermath? I mean, A, I always get lipstick right here. What is that? Like, I'm like, Rawr. and that's what happens. B, um, should probably take a lipstick like this off before you eat a burger, just saying. I think that um, I've experienced a better outcome with liquid lipsticks or matte lipsticks. So even though this is advertised as a very long wearing formula, it does, totally transfer off so it's time for like a reply okay because it looks like crap what do you think james what's that yeah you definitely need a reply <laughs> <laughs> what you don't you don't like it like this it looks a little patchy even from back there you like it like this let me see yeah you definitely need a reply so it's now approaching seven o'clock. I really don't have much left on my lips whatsoever because I've snacked a lot. I basically, I've eaten a lot of food. Um, so <laughs> there was a little bit of a stain at first, but then I continued eating more and more food and it went away. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't think this is a very long wearing, like I don't think it's a great long wearing product, but I do wanna pick up some more colors or at least try to find some more colors to try on and just at least give you guys an idea of what the color looks like and also to see if there is a texture difference because the one that I tried today was a little bit patchy but the reviews online say that this is like such an amazing product so I think maybe I got the bad color and I want to see if I can find some good ones so that's where we're at to be continued. The dedication is real even though this lipstick that is supposed to be very very long wearing that only wore well for a few hours um, was kind of a fail. I'm thinking maybe it was the color, so I'm grabbing some more. I'm here at Walgreens, and this comes in 12 different shades. I'm not gonna buy all 12. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm gonna get an array of colors from the lighter ones to reds to corals, and just kind of swatch and play and see if they're any better. So also, P.S., Rimmel as an entire line right now is buy one get one half off, so I'm getting them on sale too. Anyway, the makeup investigation continues. I am perplexed because I have just spent the last like 15 minutes looking for the lipstick that I wore today. It is nowhere to be found, but I did pick up four different shades. Let's swatch them. Here they are. The packaging. A plus. Slanted bullet for easy application, A plus. The fact that it smears everywhere, C minus. So these are the four shades I picked up. I'm going to try the lightest one right here to see if it goes on a little bit better than the darker berry one. This is called Naughty Nude. We also have Best of the Best, Cheeky Coral, and pink a punch. This is pink a punch. This is cheeky coral. I kind of love doing the swatches in here actually. Do you guys like this like kind of vlog style video? Let me know. Naughty nude, which I'm gonna try on in a second. Best of the best. And it would seem that there is some type of an alarm going on right now. But I'm gonna live dangerously and apply some makeup anyway. All right, fingers crossed guys. That's actually pretty. Okay, I actually like that one, which means I'm gonna be giving the other two or the other three up there a try. The darker one I just did not have much good luck with. Um, this is pretty though. The rest of my makeup, not so much. 
Um, yeah, I also want to add, I did not mention this before, the scent of these is kind of atrocious. It really is like sweet and perfumey, like a hybrid of both somehow. Someone said once in the comments that Rimmel lip products smell like the heads of baby dolls, and I couldn't agree more. It really, really does. Um, it kind of has this like plasticky, like floral, sweet, weird thing going on. Um, yeah, so this is actually a really beautiful color. It's the same issue where it's not matte and it does kind of like come off and smear everywhere. If you're looking for something super long wear, go with a matte lipstick. This is not gonna get it done, but if you just want like a nice creamy lipstick, then I think these are fine, especially for the price. Um, I did have, of course, some patchy issues with the darker shades. So um, I will let you guys know on Twitter and Snapchat, Snapchat. I'll let you guys know on Twitter and Snapchat, etc. how the other three go right now. My lips are a little like, uh, from like, just, I just don't want to try on the others right now. So, but I like this color and it feels all right. It smells kind of weird, but it's fine. Um, I have had a crazy day and I am going to sign off, not in the beauty room, just here in my living room, keeping it kind of basic. And I hope you guys are okay with it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this OMG Tuesday. I have a lot of awesome OMG Tuesdays coming up. You guys left so many amazing comments yesterday and I went online and ordered a bunch of like crazy makeup. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Mwah.